Hello everybody, this is Sirik1983, and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights. Alright, so we uh, handed over the Hill Giant's head to Akula Traxxas. What's the next step? Well, the next step is to buff up like crazy. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I might as well use this. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. And it'd probably be a good idea to use Kai, all three Kai damage. Let's do this. <laughs> Prepare to become there. And yes, this is how we're going to be getting so much experience. Guys, well on our way to level 16. <laughs> Prepare to become one. And we will be taking these eggs because, well, it'll save us from having to backtrack. When we go meet Cloth. Your I'm thinking when they wrote died. that name or came up with it, they weren't thinking about what it sounded like. <laughs> Ooh, nice. I mean, Cloth isn't really a uh, fearsome name. Ooh, what's this? We gotta identify them. Alrighty. Uh, let's get this stuff off. Alright. Yay! I'm not sure if they'll actually attack you if you go after this treasure or not, but I figured, eh, why risk it? Because I wanted to attack them at a specific time. How much room do I have left here? Not much. Alright. Looks like I'll have to make a quick, quick trip back to Bear Run as well. But let's go pay a visit to Cloth first. Since he seems to be looking for eggs, maybe we can, uh, you know, bargain with him since we've got some eggs. Oh well, yeah, I guess I suppose I could probably, uh, do the henchman's tails as well, but... I think I might actually be able to finish a couple of them. Um, Really have anything I need? Um, no, not really. All right, I won't bother. So yeah, I should be able to finish Body Knox and Grimnaws, but I won't need either of their uh, items throughout the Moonwood. If you have any other form of uh, fire protection in your arsenal aside from the Ring of Elemental Resistance, I would highly recommend equipping it. <laughs> that includes armor, if it, even if it's just, if it only protects against fire, it would be very much worth equipping. All right. Um, yeah, so I'm really running out of room here in my inventory, so I'll head back to Bear Run as well, and then I'll meet you right back here after I'm done selling everything off. I'm back, and I've got lots of gold. Yeah, those boots were actually called dragon slippers. They look like they'd be kind of useful against dragons, but honestly, I like the boots of speed and the uh, the quicker uh, damage dealing that I can get from them. And the shield was actually a really good shield. I was actually considering it, using it. Um, it's uh, I think it's called a Hastazini's shield or something like that, and it's actually got a plus five. Uh, AC bonus to it, so it's you know it's it's a it's a tower shield, but it's of like a plus of a three. Um, it would add three to this, but it would also add an extra five on top of it, so like, it could be really really hard to break through my defense. 
But again, it comes down to the fact that I've got uh, level 15 with the cutting stars, and uh, the critical hit rate is just too too good to pass up for me. All right, so let's head on in here and see if we can find cloth. Oh, I hate dungeons like this. Mainly just because of the hordes of the Underdark. <laughs> I gotta admit, any time I've ever played that expansion, oh man, I love the drow, but man, are they ever freaking annoying to kill in that expansion. Oh, no. The whole point of me building this character from scratch is so that I would use this character in that expansion, so whatever level I get Kel up to, he's going to be starting that campaign with it. Alright, let's go up here. This place is rather large, so let's see what kind of damage I can do. Humblest apologies to the blondes out there, but you know, you know why I'm saying that. Oh, wait, what's this? Cold iron blade. Sounds interesting. Not bad. Might be worth equipping if you, uh, you're using long swords. <laughs> Kukri plus three. And raise the dead. Hello, I see you. I was about to say, I forgot to stock up on these things, but I've still got quite a few of them left. <laughs> um, anybody else around here? But we could very well have traps. Alright, I'll rest. Ah, crap. <laughs> Free now that's much better and there we go all right what do we got around here nice Awesome, got the mech. Alright, let's go. Pray. Whatever Do her guard. Blood and 
Gotta admit, this place is cool looking. Like the lava pits and all that stuff. As much as there are bad memories. <laughs> is that it? Yes, it is. Gods you worship. Let's keep going. Hello. Pray. Whatever gods you worship. <laughs> attack is still useful. He wants me to pull the lever! Not yet. Alright, 
let's do this. Oh no, funny business. Oh, okay. Hello? Hey, thanks for springing me from that cell. I guess I owe you one. So what can I do for you? Uh, who are you and what are you doing here? My name is Wogar. The fire giants caught me trying to sneak in here about a month ago. I thought they were going to kill me, but I managed to convince King Scrog that I'd make a better advisor than a stew. I was just looking for a few gems or maybe some gold, and I, instead I end up a prisoner forced to use my brilliant mind to help out a giant king too stupid to rule his own people. <laughs> Why would the king want a half-orc for an advisor? Hey, don't lay your stereotypes on me. I'm as smart as you, I'd wager. I'm a damn sight smarter than any of the giants in this place, at any rate. Not all us half-orcs are drooling idiots, <laughs> you know. <laughs> if I wasn't gi giving good advice, do you think the king would have kept me alive? But this whole time I've also been gathering information so I could escape. Information? Sure, I've picked up a ton of information since I got here. I can tell you about cloth, and I can tell you about the dragon experiments going on in the basement. Don't tell me about cloth. I can tell you what I know, for sure, but this kind of information doesn't come cheap. 500 gold pieces, and I'll tell you everything I know. Yeah, persuade... Darn. Look, as soon, as soon as we're done here, I'm making a break for the civilized lands of the south, but I'm going to need some gold when I get there. 500 or I don't talk. Fine, here's your money. Pleasure doing business with you. Now, what it is? What was it you wanted to know again? Eh, tell me about Cloth. Cloth is an ancient red dragon who's made his lair here beneath the giant complex. King Scrog and all his giants serve Cloth. It's almost like they worship him as some kind of god or something. But Cloth is old even for a dragon, and his days are numbered. That's why he has the giants gathering dragon eggs, so he can use them for those bizarre experiments in the basement. Well, tell me about the dragon experiments. Cloth has some Yanti sorcerers working for him. Those damn shapeshifters have been using magic to grow an egg into a full-grown dragon in the space of a few months instead of the centuries it normally takes. Whoa. I'm not sure why they're doing this, but I know the adult dragons tend to disappear after reaching maturity. I bet it has something to do with Cloth trying to recapture his youth. He's pretty old, even for one of his kind. Uh, anything else you know? Cloth, the experiments in the basement, I think I did pretty darn good pretty damn good, now, considering I was a prisoner the whole time I was here. <laughs> Alright, I'll be going now. Off you go then, good luck, hope you get rid of Scrog, it couldn't happen, and there he goes, didn't even let me finish to read. Alright, anything in here? I guess not. Alright, so it sounds like we found a rather smart and friendly uh, half-orc who just took off without me finishing what he was trying to say, and I wonder what's through this door. Well, I guess uh, there's one way to find out, but I'll have to find out next time. This is Sirik1983 signing off, thank you for watching, and have a good one.